If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the new Wildcard Wednesday drop, as you guys can see right here, which is heavyweights, as well as a new bundle in the store. Quite a few cool things to go through here, some players to go through. I'm definitely excited to actually check all this stuff out, go through the new missions, and check out some stuff there as well. Now, before we get into the video and go through today's Wildcard Wednesday drop, make sure to head down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up, and guys, if you guys do need coins or training to pick up any of these players, head on down to Mount Reserve and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. And for the Poodle Squad shout out for today, we got Toriano Adams or Abrams. Toriano Abrams, shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you for showing support each and every day. If you want to be shouted out, like the video, comment down below, Poodle Squad, and of course, be subbed. Now, guys, give your team some muscle with heavyweights. Try them out in challenges and then pick them up from the store or the auction house. These missions will no longer be available on 9 8 at 10 a.m. So make sure you guys do go ahead and actually play these. As you guys go ahead and see, if you go to challenges and you go to heavyweights, they have a new solo sequence for them. Now, this is pretty much just a continuation of the weekly players here, as you guys can see from last week, which would have been the flashbacks. So you already, you should already have five stars. Now, again, remember, you do go ahead when you finish this stuff and you earn a power-up pack. So for all you people who, you know, may have been buying power for these players, remember, weekly, you will be able to get a free one, so you really don't have to pay that much for the best one. So this week's heavyweights are Montez Sweat, Jack Conklin, Roger Saff... Roger. Roger, that's a new one. Roger Saffold 3, Quentin Spain, Brandon Williams... Now, if you guys see these are very simple you just it's usually like one drive per one two three four five total solos one star each play those you will get another tier which will get you some more coins and as you get on down you get some more stuff now remember this will give you a power pack of just any of these players so i'd recommend probably taking montez sweat that is the best one there finesse move wise and speed wise it's pretty he's pretty crazy quite honestly but yeah, you do get that power so make sure you guys do go ahead and play these solos no joke take less than like 10 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes at the latest it's i did these like while watching the stream last time and i finished like well before the stream ended but those are gonna be the solos make sure you guys do go ahead and play that that gives you some stars as well if you're, if you're trying to earn towards the camp chancellor which isn't the fastest way to earn it because that's only one star per but not bad and then of course you guys can see the missions tab over here which is gonna be the heavyweights you guys can see the monta sweat the conklin staff and the monta sweat is the best one at an 89 overall so that's gonna be like this week's um high overall one like last week had the one now, let's head on over to go check out the heavyweights on the auction block as well. They should be up by now, at least slowly getting there. It's been about 11 minutes. Go to heavyweights. It's so weird to have, like, nothing in the um, the search filters yet. So, Brandon Williams is up already. So, let's check out Brandon Will. 88 overall defensive tackle. 57 speed is absolutely horrific. Oh, my Lord. I've never seen something so slow. Um, but he does get 90 strength, 88 block shed. He has no pass rush at all. Honestly, guys, the problem with him is that you can get like a guy like Warren Sapp or another defensive tackle that can pass rush and has the block shed threshold and faster than that. See, now, if he had above 90 block shed, I'd consider it more, but too slow for starters. He'll never get a sack, which is okay because I don't think he's meant to get sacks. But then again, my problem, like I always say, is there are defensive tackles in the game that can go ahead and get better speed and get the threshold on block shed and get power moving. Yeah, I'm not really in the market of powering up guys with 57 speed. That's that's a riff. He gets, he gets the 58 powered up at least, though. Jack Conklin, right tackle for the Browns. It's going to be a good one, probably. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Powered up with strategy cards. He will have all 90 run blocking, which makes him one of the best run blocking tackles, if not the best run blocking tackle in the game right now. Uh, or at least right there with Tyron Smith. Or at least best run blocking right tackle, I should say. He has great pass blocking, great strength. Um, you know, 85 strength is going to be good enough. Powered up and chemmed up. He has pretty good awareness. 90 impact blocking, 87 lead blocking, which that doesn't matter as much as right tackle, but impact blocking does a little bit more. Jack Conklin's good. That is a really, really good card. Um, Quentin Spain for the Bengals. Let's see what he's got. Okay, he's well-rounded. I wouldn't say he's as good as the other card, which was the Jack Conklin. But he does good strength. Powered up with strat cards. He will get above 90 pass blocking base, and then everything else will be high 80s. He's pretty good. Uh, not as good, I'd say, as, like I said, the Jack Conklin card. But I do actually like this card a lot. I mean, these are going to be some of the best overall linemen in the game right now. You guys know how this usually goes. The first week of heavyweights are actually pretty good for that reason. Next, we have Roger, as I called him earlier. Roger gets an 87 strength, 87 awareness, 88 pass block, 84 pass block power. Now, the beauty of him over here is the running, again, kind of similar to Jack Conklin. If you get him and Conklin on the right side, on the, you know, the guard spot and the tackle spot, they're going to be pretty beastly. And he has really good strength. This card is really good. Again, the pass blocking isn't as good as, you know, like it's not, it's not going to be all 90 as the run blocking is. But typically, I care more about run blocking when it comes to guards because that's my interior. That's my, my ground and pound kind of guys. 
So overall, powered up will be really, really good as well. Him and Conklin are probably the best two of the, you know, the lineman heavyweights. I really do like him. Um, again, if you go down here to his lead blocking, impact blocking, again, 1987, going to be good. I would prefer his lead blocking was a little bit better because he is a guard. He will be pulling a bit more, but still good nonetheless. And there's still another one, which is the Montez Sweat, which is pretty arguably, or if not easily, the best one. Uh, he's going for over 200K already. Montez Sweat, 89 overall. 87 speed, 90 excel. That's that's just absurd. An 87 speed and 90 excel for a pass rusher right now is just absolutely crazy. He could get with strat cards and powered up like a 90 speed at left end. Not to mention, guys, he gets 90 finesse move off the rip with a power up that you can get for free from the solos. This card's a monster. The block shed's good enough. He's six foot six as well, which again you may not care about, but again, a lot of people like to pop out ends into zones. Like if you know they're you know it's a passing down. And you know they're just gonna go for they're like they're quick outing you or they're quick slanting you or they're quick dragging you or doing stick routes like that. All you gotta do is just pop into a mid slash flat slash deep thirds. Uh, you know not deep third uh purple zone and just throw him out there. And he could with that six foot six height maybe finesse a pick with that speed too. Even you could even use him off. You could even use him off the line and pop him back out. A lot of ways to use this card. I really like him. 84 impact block. I mean this card's going to be is a meta card. Um, it's very rare for me to say a heavyweight card's a meta card. I've never seen a heavyweight card be the one of the the fastest guy at his position and one of the fastest guys in the game this card powered up is borderline going to be which is crazy borderline tyree kill which is just, just absurd but yeah montez sweat really really good card i really like this card so we got for the day we got brandon williams we got quentin spain we got radger we got um what else we got jack conklin and of course montez sweat jack conklin is the best one you can pretty you can see pretty easily how they rate them based on their prices jack conklin's up there already people are definitely buying them out they will drop though remember with flashbacks me myself and a lot of people including myself bought daniel jones for like 180 he dropped down to like 120 know that they will they, even the good ones will eventually drop because they're just so easy to pull and their value is pretty much oriented around their training value because that's what it takes to pull them if you guys know what i'm talking about if you come over to marketplace and you go over to training offers you can go ahead and just get them right here for seven two thousand seven hundred training so they're, they're going to be around whatever the training price is will probably dictate their actual price which is a 2700 around there so know that they're going to come down in power value similar to how the flashback players did now a really good bundle is in the store which i do want to show you guys this bundle gives you an 88 plus overall topper which is just absolutely crazy so that means you're guaranteed to pull one of the best base elites in the game which it's just crazy now that doesn't make sense probably why i was seeing a travis kelsey on the marketplace screen all week i'm wondering about that and it's 11 elite packs and it only costs about 80 bucks on like the 100 dollars bundle so that's actually not bad so 86 plus are 6.1 percent i mean the percentages are decent but the 88 plus pack guys that pretty much means you're gonna pull aaron donald jalen ramsey uh patrick mahomes Devonte adams those guys tom brady or not tom brady or you could go ahead and pull not ramsey either he's an 87 these are 88 plus. Wow, that's a really just a really good top, right? I, they're even better than that. So you're gonna pull one of the best 88s in the game. If not, you can also pull the 89 overall like legend pieces. You can also pull 89 overall full legends. You can also pull 90 overall legends. It's gonna be really good regardless. It's a good topper. Again, remember guys, this will bring down the legend market as well as the elite market. Classic EA, honestly, what they're probably trying to do here more or less is probably going ahead and making sure that everyone who had like God squads right now and a lot of coins during weekend league, it drops down the value of their players. I mean, that's that's. That's how I see this right here. Let's go check how that's affecting the market. I can't imagine that everything's not going down a little bit from that bundle. Uh, yeah, Warren Sapp is 248 right now. I mean, that means he's being pulled. Ed Reed and Brandon Marshall are still the best cards, but Warren Sapp is dropping pretty fast. And then the 88 to 89 market, I'd have to imagine, is going down a bit as well. Again, it just dropped, so give it some time, but you know that's what pretty much happens. But yeah, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.